good morning good morning or good afternoon maybe yeah because it's already uh, three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I'm right now in Andermatt with uh, Rasta and now we take this train up to Oberalpass enjoy is leaving and my hotel is waiting and Rasta is waiting too to jump into the snow. We have the number three. So Rasta first as always. Ah so cozy. Everything we need Rasta. Two beds and a view. Ah oh, so schön. Okay. <laughs> Finally, after such a long trip from Brienz to Oberalpos. Yeah, he is in the snow. 
well deserved, Rasta, well deserved. Huh? Bist happy? <laughs> sure, Mom. Now I'm happy. Happy as can be. <laughs> when we arrived at Uberalp Bus, the temperatures were already about minus 11 degrees. It's already quite cold, but uh, I knew that they announced minus 16 degrees in the next morning. So yes, I was prepared. Except of Rasta, because Rasta is busy. Yes, it's me, <laughs> but it's so cold that I need to wear this uh, this thing <laughs> on my head. Yeah, because otherwise I have frozen ears. <laughs> No, there was no Rasta. Um, crazy show, you know Normally you shouldn't fly with your drone when it is minus 10 degrees, but I gave it a try and I was lucky. the kids, huh? <laughs> From my hotel room I could watch the last trains going down to Omdermott and this and this and then I had to wait because I wanted to do a night picture but for this of course I need darkness. <laughs> I cannot describe how it feels to stand up here on this place in the night and you see the whole sky with all the stars. It's just amazing. It's, it's incredible. The next morning was really cold. We had about minus 16 degrees. Whoa, yeah. But yes, they announced that it will be that cold. For Rasta, it was quite summer. I mean, it's really, really cool, but to be able to see something like this, yeah, how you say, it's overwhelming. Rasta is totally freaking out. Yeah, yeah, I it now. Before then, all of us 
and on this part you can see and hear clearly how cold and strong the wind was in this morning. Yes, really, really cold. But I mean, look at this. How beautiful it is, huh? Incredible. Hey, I'm waiting now in the in the train station, going back down to uh, Andermatt for the next adventure. That was really, really special. It was so, so, so cold this morning. Um, minus 18 um, this morning. Um, and I will tell you later how I, uh, or what I wear on temperatures like this. Okay? Now we go. <laughs> you to tell you what I wear on temperatures like uh, minus 16 degrees and I show it right now. For Rasta it is simple, he just wears his fur. Yeah, he's very used to the cold so he don't need yeah, something for his paws um, except when we are in a village um, where the streets are salted. So what do I wear? I have very very thick socks. Yeah, uh, they are from Icebreaker. I'm not paid for that, unfortunately. Yeah, very thick socks from Icebreaker. This is what I wear everywhere is uh, Rasta hair, you see. Then what I had on my head is um, like a mask, you know. Yeah, it's all over your head, so you don't freeze your ears off. Then I have uh, something like this for my uh, throat. 
vrouw. Ja. Um, then gloves. And not only gloves um, which are um, y y good for using the iPhone. There are also some thin gloves in the other gloves um, which protect from wind and ice. Yeah. And then under my pants I wear again icebreaker uh, kind of leggings. Yeah. Yeah. Not paid for that. Um, and then icebreaker. Of course, the shirt and again, icebreaker uh, over the shirt and then very good ski pants. Yeah, yeah, big ones because uh, so I can do pictures and lie in the snow and yeah, they are very good. This is all I wear on myself when I'm on temperatures like minus 16.